Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Inter Young, your exchange program on the radio and web. This week, we have a guest from a very, very special country. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, guys. My name is Ilya. I'm from Ukraine. I'm 16 years old. I'm come to Bella Vista to study, to prove. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. No problem. So, as you said, you're from Ukraine. Yeah. Right? It's a very, very interesting country. It has a lot of history. Um, uh, Ukraine has over this, uh, not a huge country, but also not very small. It has like yeah. fo almost 45 million 45 inhabitants or something, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, sure. So I know that it borders the Black Sea, mm -hmm. right? How's that like? Is it a big tourism uh, place for people that over there? Do people go to vacations there a lot? Not really. I, I would say that like all people from Ukraine come to Black Sea to just like, relax mm -hmm. to, um, for the summer. Yeah, uh, my, my grandma lives in nearby uh, Black Sea, so I, I always visit her. Mm -hmm. yeah. But is it like, how's the temperature of the Black Sea? And like oh, in summer it's really hot. Yeah, mm. like I will say in Celsius it's like 30. Oh, yeah. so it's good, yeah. yeah. That's cool. And like, is it uh, polluted at all? Is it like very good to go oh, there? Oh, it's it's like the it's clean, uh, not so salty. You know, like like Red Sea. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice to to swim to just like relax there. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And um, I know that Ukraine borders seven countries. It borders uh, Poland, yep. Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Moldova, Russia, and Belarus. Mm -hmm. How is that like to be so near those countries that have so much culture and like s uh, so many interesting things? Do you see a lot of like tourism? Do people travel to those countries a lot in their vacations or something? Yeah, we have like every region which connect with uh, countries. Like my my region connects to Russia, so like we have a lot of Russians uh, there. Uh, many of Russians car, like um, people speak Russian. Hmm. So, like that's why. And uh, you s the language you speak is Ukrainian, right? Uh, I can speak Russian, Ukrainian. Uh huh. So uh, I know that there's a lot of like ethnic Russians living in Ukraine, right? It's yeah. like says that it's like almost like one fifth of the population or uh, something. Yeah, it's close very to that. And so like do people learn would you say that um Russian is almost like the like the number one for second language in yeah, there? Yeah, second language is uh, Russian mm -hmm. in our country. And then would be like English? Uh not really. We have just two like mm -hmm. uh, languages, uh, Russian and Ukrainian. Oh. Yeah. And um what is I know that um Ukraine has a lot of uh, like Orthodox Christianity, mm -hmm. and uh, would you say that that is the the biggest religion in there? Uh, yeah, I'll say that because uh, yeah, everybody is like Christians. Uh, we have like one religion which is like uh, Buddhism. You know, mm. that's all. But do the uh, those the people that believe in the, those different religions do they? Um, live with each other well do they respect each other in oh, that matter we don't have troubles with that like mm -hmm. um, everybody is is friendly yeah uh, no problems with religions that's great yeah. and um so uh, do you have in ukraine do you have states like we do you have in uh here? we have region uh like it's it's in with states. Oh yeah. So is it like how many like just like north, west, and whatever? Uh, no, we have just um, middle city. Uh, oh. like city is uh, capital of uh, region, and we have uh, cities and villages nearby um, there. Oh. And yeah, I see. So it's almost like the like a city states almost. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. That's interesting. And uh, did you know like which is the biggest region? Oh. I will say it's probably uh, Dnipropetrovsk. It's like a big, big um, region with a lot of um, minerals. Hmm. It's like working region. Everybody oh. there working in mines. Like oh, 
That's interesting. And would you say that there's a big um, difference of cultures between those regions, or would you say it's pretty oh. much the same? Oh, uh, we have like two parts of uh, country, left and right. Right is like more Russian. Uh, everybody speak Russian. Um, th they they close to Russia, Belarus, and we have second part. It's like. Everybody speak Ukrainian. Uh, one time I was in one city. I can't understand. Like <laughs> it's exactly like uh, wow. national Ukrainian, uh, and they close to Polish, to Romania, and like they they mix language with them. Oh, wow! Yeah. That's that's very interesting. But and so they they probably have a lot of like different traditions and cultures and yeah, things like that. Yeah, everybody like f uh, have their traditions, family family stuff which mm -hmm. they do every holidays or like that's so interesting and um would you say that then uh, people like people that live in ukraine uh ukraine they um they try to know all these other traditions that are in the same country or do oh, they just like mm. kind of know about and don't really uh, care much i think not really because everybody already have their own traditions mm -hmm. their own like uh stuff was they do in always so mm -hmm. they, they don't try uh, yeah that's, that's awesome and uh, i know that uh, let's say that, like uh, ukraine um excluding russia it says that it's the largest country in the continent so it's yeah our country is the biggest in europe yeah that's that's yeah. that's very interesting and um there's a lot of also like uh like discussion about like what country is the center of Europe mm -hmm. but what is mostly said is that um, Ukraine is yeah. the center of Europe I was reading about that like two weeks ago hmm. uh, it's small village like in, in Ukraine in mountains huh uh, yeah I forgot the name okay. is it like rock Rakiv I think it Wait. is this it yeah probably that how do you say it Rakiv Rakiv yeah. hmm. that's awesome and it's um this is very interesting, but it, it's uh, that you have all these um, differences and with like, the different influences of different countries. Yeah. What would you say is your favorite thing about your country? About my country, I will say that uh, that is holidays like hmm. New Year because always uh, in I always meet with all my friends uh, with. Um, my grandparents with schoolmates uh, we have a lot of fun that's there awesome. that time yeah they probably party a lot there mm -hmm. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. cool <laughs> and how is the the landscape in ukraine is it like do you, uh, do you see a lot of mountains or rivers or lakes oh well, we have we have a lot of mountains in the left side of our country so it's um we have the largest mountain in our countries um two two thousand meters like that hmm. wow yeah, two thousand twenty oh wow that's pretty high mm -hmm. it's called Kart Karpati. Karpati. and yeah. uh how about like uh of course you have the you border the black sea but are there any yeah. other like water bodies in there that are f big or popular or oh important mm. Not really, I hmm. would say. Like, would you say that there's a lot of like tourism towards those mountains? Um, a lot of people came from Europe, like old age. I would say. Hmm. Um, I I saw a lot of people from Germany, from Asia too, hmm. uh, in Kiev, in our capital, because we have a lot of uh, places, which is really cool. That's nice. Yeah. That's awesome, and um, so there is a um, is it is it a big difference in uh, um, vegetation throughout the the regions? As in, like you see, like maybe like more uh, forests in this place, or like uh, grasslands, or maybe just like oh, mm, we have we have uh, probably two regions, mm -hmm. no three. It's like uh, one region. Uh, there is a lot of forests. Hmm. Uh, second is only mountains, nearly Polish, and um, we have sec third 
is um, like my region. It's just uh, lands, like uh, flat lands. I see. Yeah. That's interesting. So there's a lot of things to, to see <laughs> in Ukraine, a lot mm. of different places to go. That's awesome. And how's uh, the climate in there? Oh, um, our climate is, is fairly crazy hmm. because in winter it's really cold, like minus 20 Celsius. Sometimes, yeah, minus 30. Wow. And in uh, summer it's like really hot too. Huh. Minus uh, plus 30, like that. Wow. It's, <laughs> yeah. The temperature is jumping here. Wow, yeah, and uh, it's probably a big shock to come to Arizona <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the 40s, and then, like, the lowest is probably, like, zero or, like, minus two. And um, would you say that the, the the seasons are, like, well well divided? Like, the summer really gets, like, way hotter than probably? Yes, oh, yeah. Said. We have, like, uh, our autumn is, mm, like, normal autumn. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not cold, it's not hot, like... Mm -hmm. um, in middle uh, and uh, spring, it's the same with autumn. Oh, yeah, for temperature. Yeah, it's interesting. Like I always la ask that because as a Brazilian, like I live in the mm -hmm. in the northeast you have of only Brazil. Uh, like yeah, summer. It's the same thing all all year long. Like when it's winter, you might see like a little bit more rain than usual, mm -hmm. but it's pretty much the same temperature yeah. and like the same everything. So it's kind of interesting to have that perspective. Um, is there how how are people there because uh, as you said there's like a lot of uh, Russian influence and there's probably some influence from the other bordering states yeah. and all that and I know it's a country that has a lot of tradition so how do people interact with like the differences and how do people respect each other and like yeah um, that was like two years ago those troubles with uh, like people um, because uh, there was a uh, it's it was five years ago that was um, our. We should connect to Europe Association. Mm. Like our president say no, and there was like trouble. Somebody say like, it's good that uh, we like stay uh, cold with all that. Somebody say no, we need to connect there. Like, mm -hmm. uh, it starts like really crazy. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of yeah. political. But then are people like? warm like do they like uh, when they see each other in the street how do they greet each other do they like handshake or hug or like oh, do people yeah if if it's your friend or mm -hmm. people you know like yeah you will be same it's uh, here mm -hmm. oh yeah. so it's pretty much the same yeah so it, it's it uh, that's also something that varies a lot <laughs> throughout countries some countries mm -hmm. like people don't even yeah say good morning to each other and like some they always like have to hug and like you know do like the kiss on the cheek and all that yeah, it's different of countries yeah so um people say that as you said like there's a lot of thing with um people trying to get closer to like western europe mm -hmm. and some others trying yeah. to get closer to europe so would you say you would say that then that's like the main the vision between people maybe uh yeah i would say like that because it's the most like problem it was most problem mm -hmm. at that time i see yeah. and um and uh i know also that ukraine is a very like uh progressive country uh it's the the literacy rate is almost like the country is almost completely literate which is awesome and it's not like it's very unlike other like soviet uh former soviet countries yeah. And um, I also know that a lot of people learn English in schools as well, right? Yeah. Uh, like w our last year, there was um, English was national uh, language mm. in our country. So uh, in end of year, everybody needs to pass exams for oh. English. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know that uh, this is also helping out a lot of the like IT service sector that is growing a lot in mm. uh, Ukraine, which is very interesting. Mm, yeah. And would you say that people are more, like, open-minded in the sense of, like, um, letting people do whatever they, like, in, in relationship to, like, um, what people do, as in, like, if you want to do something, like, if you, let's say, like, drugs and, like, I don't know, like, these, like, hard topics, like abortion or, mm -hmm. like, euthanasia, whatever, are mm -hmm. people more... Like, do they? Do you think that the mass, like the majority of people, believe more in like being free choice, or do they have like more 
um, conservative views over it? Do you, would you say that there's a majority or are oh. people well divided? Uh, in my country, like if if you want to do something, nobody will uh, like uh, contact with you. Mm. Like uh, if you want to do, if you want to go to study uh, IT, uh, you can go. I saw like a lot of. Uh, all people who, who went to IT uh, schools, which is really cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And I also know that uh, they have a lot of um, eco-friendly, like in your country, have a lot of eco-friendly projects. I know that um, almost half of Ukraine's domestic energy is supplied by nuclear power. Do you see a lot of like nuclear um, power plants in there? Uh, not really. Mm. I would say like not uh, at all people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, there's also uh, Chernobyl yeah. in there, right? And uh, it's, you know the disaster, like the Chernobyl accident, that mm -hmm. was like the, the catastrophic like nuclear accident and all that. Um, how would you say that that um, affects? Uh, Ukraine nowadays? Do people still talk a lot about it? Are you taught about that in school? Oh, about... Uh, I'll say not because uh, there was uh, one, one time a year we we meet all school in like uh, in one time and we talk about that. Uh, we meet some people who was there at that time uh, who still alive. Hmm. Uh, Yeah, we're, we're trying to speak ab about that, but um, not so seriously. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. I saw this um, um, uh, data that uh, Greenpeace put in that like the eventual death toll for... Um, was like way higher than like the official uh, the official estimates, which was like yeah. about like 93,000 like extra cancer deaths mm -hmm. worldwide like yeah, were resulted somehow from the I think journal. official official uh, information is not true mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, yeah it, it was something that killed a lot of people it says that like there's an estimate that um, that a non-government body created that said that um, it w the death toll from the disaster was approximately like, like 735,000 people yeah it's, probably it's I don't really like now but mm -hmm. maybe yeah. but it's very yeah it's a very big uh, thing would you say that there's a lot of people that go to Ukraine with the curiosity of exploring more about the history of that accident oh yeah maybe somebody like um, Uh, went to Ukraine exactly with uh, meaning to go to Chernobyl. Mm. Um, right now, it's not so dangerous there, but like, still, uh, if you want to take something with you to your country, nah, <laughs> don't do that. <it>. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a lot of like different types of um, myths and like stories that people make up about the thing. You know, from mm. radioactive beings that were created to aliens to everything so it's like it's really it's something that is, uh, creates many many stories to tell mm -hmm. and um, now I wanted to know what is a, you, going back a little bit you said that uh, you liked holidays a lot you probably party a lot what is the drinking age uh, in Ukraine oh it's 18 years old 18 yeah and what is on um, driving age uh, 18 too okay like everything in my country is oh, from 18 so voting as well yeah oh that's that's really interesting and um, I know that Um, there was like this revolution in 2014, yeah. right? As you you mentioned, that um, made a lot of tension mm -hmm. between like pro and anti-Russian politicians and the, the the supporters in the country, and uh, you know created a lot of things and like made uh, led to like the government made more closer ties with European Union mm -hmm. would you say that this is something that like this is a topic that has settled nowadays or is it still a big discussion about it oh mm, I think it's still like in people's mind mm -hmm. uh, this um, this accident like a lot of people were killed in that uh, time mm -hmm. yeah was no reason that's why mm -hmm. like and uh, how is education There is it public? Is it private? Oh, both? Um, yeah, it's both. We have a lot of public schools. Um, 
in my in my city mm. uh, and we have like I think 10 20 schools which is private mm-hmm. do they have yeah. a big difference of quality between them or are public schools oh good? Mm, we have one really good school pub, uh, private school mm. like but uh, studying there is really expensive oh yeah but is public school quality good oh I will say that our our um, studying is really good hmm. uh, our teaching uh, because right now here I'm, I'm in a lot of uh, classes I'm just like doing nothing <laughs> because mm-hmm. I already know that in in my country yeah I actually yeah. face that a lot uh, it seems that um, education systems in uh, other countries, um, that at least the countries that I've interviewed so, f- like from the people that I've interviewed so mm-hmm. far, have a more um, rigorous education system. But it's a matter of like pros and cons in like different ways of approaching each mm-hmm. education. Like not that the United States s- yeah. system is bad or anything, because I, I I think it's awesome, but. I see that. Yeah, a lot like of that. Uh, different uh, studying is like different process. Yeah. And um, how many like subjects do you get per year? Oh, in average. Uh, probably like we don't have schedule like here every mm-hmm. every day same classes. Uh, uh, we have uh, seven classes per day, uh, and al- always it's different. Mm-hmm. And probably like twenty five mm. uh, classes. Yeah, that's that's actually almost like the same week. in Brazil. Yeah, like it changes every day, mm-hmm. and yeah, in Brazil it kind of also changes as in like um, depending on the year. Mm-hmm. So like when you're uh, when you're a senior in Brazil, okay. you have like like five maths, like five maths, oh. and like yeah. four biologies, and like goes all around. Uh, we have same. We have eleven years uh, of studying, hmm. like uh, of education. So after. Uh, ninth grade and ten, you choose uh, the the way you want to study, oh. uh, like math or uh, l- languages. Oh. Right now, it's it's languages. Uh, so if you want to be in math classes, you'll be get like four hours f- per day ma- math. Yeah. Wow. And chemistry and all of this. That's interesting. Like, yeah. And do you have uh, a sort of, like, national exam that you have to take? Like, we oh, have the SATs yeah. in here. Uh, we have uh, we have two exams uh, after ninth grade mm. and after 11. Mm. Uh, yeah, I passed uh, last exam. Not bad, I think. And what, what, uh, what is the exam on? Is it just, like... Uh, like language and math. Does oh, it have other uh, we stuff? have three exams. There was Ukrainian language, there was math, and there was English. Hmm. So yeah. you don't get like a uh, national exam of like biology, chemistry, and physics. Oh, uh, different schools choose different uh, exams. Oh, like in there are schools which is exactly going to biology or uh, there was school for n- I forgot probably. Uh, geography, hmm. yeah. So n- different exams for each school. How oh, interesting! So, yeah. so then probably people might like look at the school that they want and go like, "Oh, I, I like this. Yeah. So I'll go to that school." Mm-hmm. Huh? That's that's very interesting. And right. um, for you to go to university, do uh, does your do your grades matter at all, or is it just like the the national exams grades oh, or things like that? Um, it was. Um, if you want to go to our universities, it will be for your exactly year's grade and f- mm. for your exam. Okay, so it's yeah. both. Yeah. And uh, our universities, public, private, both as well? Oh, like more than is uh, public. Mm. We don't have a lot of uh, private mm-hmm. universities. And uh, how's the quality of them? Really oh, it's same with schools. We have a really like hard uh, education. A mm-hmm. really not so hard. It's um, it's more harder, like mm-hmm. uh, than in uh, USA or I don't know about Brazil. But yeah. like, yeah, I, see, I understand. And um, how about uh, your health system? And our hospital is public and private as uh, well? Yeah, we have both. Um, we have private, but uh, I will say that if you want a really good uh, healthcare, 
uh, just go to private. To private? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, But would you say that the quality of the public is good as well or um no i will say that like doctors there are really good mm. like quality of doctors education uh but uh, qualities of uh, everything are really bad mm-hmm. yeah i see and um uh, do is it uh, our healthcare plans like uh reachable by people by like the amount of money they make oh, can they afford mm, it well uh, like if you want to Uh, our ha- health uh, is free uh, for public. Hmm. Uh, I don't know about um, private uh, hospitals. I-, I never was there, mm-hmm. like at all. Um, so I will say, like it's free, but sometimes if you need uh, any help, like uh, operation or something mm. like that, you need to pay, of course. Oh, I see. Yeah, and um, that's very interesting. So it's uh, very kind of like. You can choose a lot. Now, uh, what is the the moving on to economy? What's the currency there? Oh, um, I'll say uh, our economy starting to be better. Hmm. Uh, like, yeah, good. Um, it's moving in like a uh, good way, way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's still really bad. Like mm-hmm. for Europe, it's uh, close to be the most lower. Yeah. And what currency do you use? Like, is it like uh, how much is it compared to dollars? Like, is oh, it so like euro right now it's like um, some situations. Our do- our money start to be cheaper. Hmm. So right now, I remember there was thirty for one dollar. Oh, thirty, yeah. thirty. Yes. Yeah, oh, and what's the name of it again? Uh, Grivna. Grivna. Yeah. Grivna. That's cool. <laughs> and um. Do the like the countries that ab- uh, border it? I, we talked about it already. Mm-hmm. You created like s- uh, recently. There are more yeah. um, relationships with Western European countries, but um, with the bordering countries, do would you say that there's like any kind of like economical relationship between them? Oh yes, there is a lot of uh, relationships we have with uh, Turkey. Mm. They they bring a lot of uh, like. Food, a lot of every stuff, like um, care, health care. Mm. We have a lot of pills, uh, drugs uh, from uh, Europe. So, yeah, I'll say we have a good uh, relationships with That's nice. Europe. And um, I know that something that is growing a lot in Ukraine recently is the IT sec- uh, sector. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's like the the English language is growing there because of that like it's helping yeah. out on that uh, profession and this like one of the like, apparently it's like the third most important industry after agriculture and metal production mm-hmm. would you say that you see a lot of like those kind of advantage, ad, uh, advances in there or uh, about IT mm-hmm. oh yeah I was in IT school oh. like two years ago uh, I leave because of uh, you say mm-hmm. I went here Yeah, the the studying was really cool. I like it. That's yeah. awesome. And um, I know that y- you mentioned already that like in the biggest region has a lot of like metal production, and mm-hmm. it's also one of the top industries. Yeah. And I know that it's a country that is um, notable for like ha- uh, having a lot of iron and steel. And w- would you say that th- uh, that is something something maybe that the country explores a lot, or is it more like refining of it? Um, yeah, we're, we're selling a lot of uh, mm-hmm. metal, iron, yeah, uh, to different countries. Uh, we're still using it here in, in Ukraine mm-hmm. a lot. Uh, yeah, we're trying to u- use it. Mm-hmm. Like. That's awesome. And um, I also know that uh, the tourist industry, is uh, tourism industry, mm-hmm. is also very popular because, uh, you know, it has a lot of natural attraction with the mountains and the Black Sea, and there's a lot of uh, culture and, like, uh, architectural uh, heritage from, like, all the bordering countries, you know, all the influence from Russia and, like, mm-hmm. also the everything that happened. So it's um, a very, um, apparently, it's a very big tourist 
uh, attraction. Would you say that you, s- you you mentioned already that you saw a lot of tourists from Asia and like from yeah. other parts of Europe? But do you actually see them a lot, or is it just something? Oh, that I would say that um, my, um, I always spend time in my s- uh, city. My city is uh, the biggest. Um, city with uh, schools with uh, mm-hmm. universities is the uh, largest in education uh, oh. city so we have a lot of uh, students which study in medical uh, university oh. yeah i saw a lot of people from uh, india oh yeah they they turn on study um but not really because i live um uh nibly out of my city so mm-hmm. a lot of universities are in the capital uh yeah and in the middle of city i see yeah. i understand huh and um now moving on to food is mm-hmm. there any um traditional dishes in oh Ukraine? we have a lot of <laughs> yeah. what, what's some of your favorite yeah you probably hear about that it's borscht borscht yeah You know huh. what is that? No. It's soup. Oh. Yeah. Well, I think I actually ha- heard of that before. Mm-hmm. So is it, wh- like, what's different about it? Oh, mm, I just like it <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I started to mm, eat it from mm. my childhood. So with my mom. Just yeah. something that you just know that it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> And what else? Is there any other stuff? Oh, mm, we have, oh, we have a uh, holidays. Um, I don't know how to translate it through uh, like rights, but it's holidays when we make uh, pancakes. Hmm. Yeah, so like every every uh, home make a lot of uh, pancakes. Like uh, they bring uh, to uh, neighbors huh. uh, to to try it. I, I like this. That's uh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, do people drink a lot of coffee there? Oh. Uh, I'll say mm, same with all all uh, different countries mm-hmm. because um my mom drink a lot of coffee. She oh. need <laughs> she need to drink like two cups uh, per day d- to to woke up. To get going, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um so yeah, I'll say uh, mm-hmm. yeah. But is but it's not like a, a traditional thing then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um I also it, Ukraine has been called a lot like the breadbasket country mm-hmm. have you ever heard that before <laughs> Cause, uh like the the because it makes a lot like produces a lot of wheat and um like a lot of the country's soil is like very fertile so would would you say that you see a lot of that when you're like maybe like a road trip or something a lot of uh, plantations and all uh, that uh, not really hmm. like Mm, no, huh. I will say like I saw a lot of uh, plantations with um, uh, different uh, nutritions mm. like uh, potatoes. Uh, what else? Um, Lasso. Uh, so I'll say no. Huh? Yeah, that's interesting. And um, yeah, because in, it's interesting because I know that it, I, I would imagine that the the cuisine would be very. Um, variated with a lot of different with all the influences mm-hmm. that the country has there will be a lot and you know the the soups and the i know that is it isn't like bread famous there or something uh like, yeah we have well we have a lot of breads what? like different types <laughs> we have dark white uh with nuts was um, <laughs> yeah so it goes all around because I think I've had like uh, an Ukrainian like bread before I forgot like where and like what was the situation but I think I like I mm-hmm. had that and how about like meat do people like meat a lot there like oh yeah uh, we <laughs> eat a lot of meat uh, like we put it everywhere hmm. I think uh, because like every, every time we eat meat yeah That's that's cool, and um, there's a like a national alcoholic drink. It's like uh, hor- horilka. Yeah. How do you say yeah. it? You say it. Right. Horilka. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what what is that? Like, what is it? Oh, that is. Um, uh, it's like homemade vodka. Oh. Yeah, but huh. um, it's. Um, 
Uh, right now it's like really bad because uh, it's uh, dangerous to make it. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Like you, you need to have a lot of um, stuff to make it mm. and you can sell it because it's um, not the rules of our oh. country. Is it yeah. too like? Is it stronger than vodka? Then yeah, it's more stronger. Oh, <laughs> it's like a vodka is forty. Uh, oh wow! And uh, uh, Gorilka is like seventy or more. You can make like eighty. Wow! <laughs> and it's per percent of uh, huh. exactly uh, like drinking. Hmm. And yeah, I. I heard that it like the name translates to burning is that true yeah yeah so that that should say it's something like, <laughs> um it's like burning wow yeah. <laughs> that should definitely say it, something it, it will be burning <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, uh, yeah, it, yeah i don't necessarily have a lot of experience on that but it's just like what i've heard no, is that like it's very I, very too, very uh, strong me too because yeah. I, i'm not trying to make yeah. it and how about uh sports Because I know that uh, mm -hmm. Ukraine has hundreds of like sports venues and uh, for people to uh, spectate and to participate, mm -hmm. and a lot of it was uh, built during like the Soviet era. You know, with mm -hmm. so, how how's that like? Do people like sports a lot there? Oh, right now, uh, like um, I'll say that government tried to like popu populate uh, sports. Right now, basketball starts to be really uh, popular in hmm. my my country, uh, but still, football is uh, football? the most famous. Uh, yeah, and so you have like uh, games every week. Oh, and all um, that? I'll say that like uh, probably half of all guys uh, going to football, mm -hmm. like uh, a lot of going to basketball, all different types. Mm -hmm. Running is really f popular, like oh. athletics. Yeah. Um, what else? Swimming. We have a lot of swimming pools. Huh. Um, we have swimming pool in my uh, school. That's interesting. Yeah. It, um, w how how would you say is like team spirit? Like, do people like get together on the streets to like root for their teams, or oh. like what, do people scream a lot when when yeah, they team like or something? Uh, we have we have our. Um, city uh, team mm. uh, so yeah when they play uh, everybody trying to support them mm -hmm. so. yeah it's it's funny because like um, mm -hmm. in Brazil uh, as you probably know soccer is like yeah, the, the biggest thing and when you go to uh, like a soccer match people are like just everywhere th yeah they're like yeah, everywhere know, know. like on the streets and um screaming all the time like in um recently actually like this um team from my state got into uh it's called CSIA got into the like a, a top rank in the mm -hmm. you know in this category okay. and it hasn't been in that rank for like more like some decades and it was such a party like my city completely yeah, stopped everybody starts everyone went to crazy. the streets and then like the the airport shut down because like people were on the park it was like insane mm -hmm. so and when i come here to the united states and i go to like a baseball match or something like there has to be like a screen telling people to start mm -hmm. like applauding or something and it's like it, it's completely different yeah. so what would you say that ukraine relates more like to be uh, more vivid? yeah we're, we're trying to like be in, in team uh-huh yeah that's cool Now, um, let's go now to some curiosities. The, um, um, so this, I can always make a little bit, you know, do a little bit of research mm -hmm. about the country before, but it's that thing, you know, like on the internet, might be true, maybe not. Yeah, so, like uh, not fully true. In yeah. Internet, always. Exactly. So mm -hmm. like, uh, I have like a few topics and I just want you to say like, if you ever if heard this before, yeah. if it you think it's about right or if you just like okay. never heard of it okay. so it says um, the ancient Ukrainian national symbol, uh, symbol is the trident or like, the tri tricep trees up uh, yeah it, it is um, I have I have t-shirt with, uh, with it oh so it is yeah, yeah that's cool. do people like is it like a big symbol or is it just like back in the day it used to be uh, more than that no like it's always in our schools mm -hmm. in all uh, like places 
That's cool. And uh, okay, so next one. Written Ukrainian uses the Cyrillic uh, alphabet. It has characters not present in the Russian version of Cyrillic and vice versa. Many of the characters of the two alphabets are pronounced differently. So it's, it's like a complete different alphabet than... Uh, so I'll say it's only pronunciation. Hmm. So like... Um, Sometimes I I cannot understand like people who speak Ukrainian because it's really h- hard. They speak really fast. Hmm. Uh, sometimes it's like re- really easy. Like our our language came from uh, Slovenian. Mm-hmm. No, it's like it was uh, one language: Russian, Bel- Belarus, and uh, Ukrainian. And hmm. after that, we we start to be separate and. Uh, make it different languages. I see. Yeah. And um, w- how would you say that? Uh, like, is Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian, and uh, Russian, the li- are the languages similar in any way? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes there is like uh, same same language, uh, same words, uh, mm-hmm. which is in uh, two languages. So yeah. But is it a situation of like I don't know if a Russian person was sitting right here and like was speaking Russian to you mm-hmm. and you're speaking back in Ukrainian, would you be able to understand each other? Kind oh, of. Oh, I can understand. I oh. can. Uh, but uh, I think uh, like if I will speak with uh, somebody here from Russia. Uh, in Ukrainian, they will not understand me. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Um, that is the next curiosity. So it says that um, the uh, Ukraine today has a very active space agency, the National Space Agency of Ukraine (NSAU), mm-hmm. that they they're always launching satellites and doing many scientific researches. Is that something like prominent there? Oh, I will say yes because uh, we have uh, a lot of people who was in space. Hmm. Uh, right now, it's probably one or two guys who is space right now hmm. uh, from my country. So and it goes back to like also like the Soviet uh, era, you know, with like all the, oh, the space programs and stuff, uh, or not? I don't really, really know. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's really interesting. And um, also something that I did not know, but Ukraine has a lot of um, I don't know. It, it does okay. it says that Ukraine has uh, about like four or five ski, very popular ski resorts mm-hmm. that like are even big, uh, are even bigger than like the the. Like, I, I mean, it's different than, like, you know, it's no French Alps, but mm-hmm. it's, they're very popular. How is that, like, true? Do people, like, actually ski a lot there? Oh, probably I'll say yes, because uh, we have a lot of ski, uh, like, ski places where you you can just uh, relax, mm-hmm. be with family, uh, have fun. So... Uh, uh, yeah, I'll say yes. I don't know really about four like big yeah. results. <laughs> I, I I don't know uh-huh. numbers of it, but yeah, I that's would cool. Say yes. Yeah, it it would make sense, you know, with all the mountains that they yeah. were there. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Now, um, how um, how would you say good morning in Ukrainian? Dobre utra. Dobre utra. Yeah. Oh, it's similar to um to. To Serbian, oh. Dobro jutro. Uh, mm, yeah, a little bit, kind of, right? <laughs> Dobro utro. Yeah, I would say in Russian. In uh, Russian, it's like similar in Ukraine. Huh. That's close. That's cool. And yeah. uh, how do you say thank you? Spasiba. Spasiba. Yeah. Cool. And how does and Jaku in Ukrainian? Jaku. Yeah. Jakuju. Jakuju. Yeah. Jakuju. And how yeah. do you say what? Um, goodbye in Ukrainian. Uh, in Ukrainian, mm-hmm. um, oh gosh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's like "paka," "paka." Yeah. Huh. Well, that's awesome. Well, um, thank you so much for being here. No problem. Is there anything else you would like to add about Ukraine? Anything? Oh, uh, not really. <laughs> I, I will say hello to everybody uh, from Ukraine <laughs> who'll see me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, actually, I wanted to ask you about uh, before we we finish this. Uh, what what made you come to the United States? Oh, uh, I'll say basketball. Basketball. Yeah. Do you want to go to college here? Yeah, I, I'm trying to. Mm-hmm. And how was that process for you to like coming here? 
to the United States? Would, did you adapt really well, or did you like have some challenges, maybe with oh, language or culture? Not really. We, with my family, was trying to come here like three years ago. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's that's interesting. What about you? Well, you know, uh, this is my old second year here, mm -hmm. and it's like um, different school, same city, yeah. same host family, which is awesome. Oh, really? Amazing. Yeah. Cool. It took me in for another year, which is, you know, it uh, was a blessing. And, yeah, I just want to go to college and doing everything, yeah. but I don't play any sports, so it's all academic, so I've got to focus oh, on you, you the grades. You have, like, <laughs> the grades, like, every, every time for GPA. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> yeah. Well... Well, how do you say goodbye again? Uh, paka. Paka. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for being here. It was very, very interesting. You're and welcome. Um, I hope you guys liked it. It was a very interesting conversation. Uh, remember to follow us on Instagram, Interjovem Oficial, which is um, I-N-T-E-R-J-O-V-E-M Official. And uh, see you guys next week. Paka. Yep. <laughs> In the descriptions. Yeah, and subscribe, like, and subscribe. I always uh, forget to uh, say that. I never uh, said that. <laughs> like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> yeah.